Hello everyone and welcome back to Wars in the Realm of Asuna. In the last episode we managed to lower a public opinion so low that it is now 3 and close to 0 and that scares me. So in this episode we will be working on that very much indeed. Hopefully we will improve that quite a bit. What we'll also be doing is we'll be increasing our lands, hopefully our gold and our troops, uh, with the hope of eventually restoring the Kingdom of Asuna to uh, some kind of glory in the future. At least we're well on our way. Let's explore the realm here. I think we would explore first. Let's go south. The parched lands is an uncomfortably warm place, full of dry rock and sand. Little life survives here. No oh, rumors of demonic whispers. No one knows the truth, huh? You wander aimlessly. Oh, Fort Galak. All right. Old bandit fortress that belongs to Gore the Bastard. The fort is garrisoned, and they won't give it up without blood or gold. Don't have 50,000 gold yet, but... Uh, we might consider attacking the fort at some point, but I don't think we can. We have, what, 945 troops or so? Doesn't sound like quite enough. Oh, Lava Pit. Lava Pit is believed to be a gateway to the world of demons. Worshipped by a few. The pit is feared by most. The lava burns all that it touches. Sacrifice a peasant? Sure. You throw a peasant into the pit. Let's out a shriek. Let's send shivers down your spine. I mean, does this do anything? Hear thousands of screams. <laughs> Is there any point to this? Uh. I mean. Is this raising some kind of skill? Does this make us luckier or something? I don't know what's going on. Uh. How many peasants do you need? Alright, okay, that's enough. I feel bad. <laughs> Let no one hear of this back home. Alright. That's enough here. Let's recruit some troops. Uh, I think we only have about 9 or 10 knights, so I think I want to improve that quite a bit. Can hire 23. Let's hire 15 of them. Because they do train peasants, after all. And they are pretty good soldiers themselves. Very helpful for, uh, well, combat in general. And now let's actually visit our throne room. See if we can help out some peasants. There are 19 people waiting to see us, so next visit up. Young Hedge Knight who wants to quest for us. Yes. Go for it. Actually, I wonder if there's a way to tell uh, what our questing knights are doing. Is it under Kingdom Report, maybe? Uh, what is the status of my questing knights? Yes. Six knights are questing in your name, and... Oh, <laughs> I guess that's it. All right. Thought I might get to know where they were, what they were up to exactly, but I guess not. Is it the throne room again? 18 people. Hedge Knight who wants to que Oh. Return from his quest. Killed a pair of rebels who had taken the lead of a small village. It's on uh, the outskirts of town somewhere. Oh, join, yes. Wow, free knights. Gimme, give gimme give those free, free peoples. Alright, next visitor. Traveling Bard. I'm not the worst musician. Should I play you a short song? Sure. Well, it was a short song. We weren't kidding. <laughs> it was a great performance. <laughs> Alright, uh, get out of here. Next visitor. A rotund man who enters the throne room and says he wishes to sell you seven of his sons. 30 gold each. Uh, how many sons do you have? Oh, he has too many. Okay, that's fine. Not enough beds. <laughs> All right, sure. Next person. Traveling Jester. What's the joke? A northerner told me a thought crossed his mind once. It must have been a long and lonely journey. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, the joke was terrible. The man leaves disappointed. Aw. So sorry. Mysterious cloaked man with red skin. Oh, coin of fate. Oh, you're back. Um, I think I'm still going to refuse, but I won't kill him. So he does come back eventually. Okay, good to know. Representative of the Wagon Man. This is master requests a trade caravan to be opened between him and your kingdom. Yes. I mean, trade is good, right? Unless you use it as an excuse to attack us or something. Seek a quest worthy of me, says the traveling knight. Yes. I mean, go for it. If that means you come back uh, a free knight and you join my army, then great. 
man who is accused of killing a guard. Ask him to explain himself. The king will do as he does. What? <laughs> I've never seen a guard for a statement. His guilt is more certain than anything. Uh, dungeons. Right? A man who claims to have been cursed by a witch begs for your help. It says he requires the elixir of pigment to cure him. I mean, it's 100 gold, sure. Oh, public opinion! Yay! Alright. A hedge knight quest. Sure. Next visitor. Guards bring forth a man who is accused of worshipping the dead. Well, I mean, is, is that bad? <laughs> Explain yourself. I would never do bad. I didn't do it. What's the statement from the guard? Well, he's probably guilty of something. Uh, release this guy. Oh, public opinion. Nice. I should just free everybody, although that sounds like a bad idea, because they might come back and kill us. <laughs> you are visited by an armed bandit who says it would be an honor to serve the Dark Knight. Who's, who's the Dark Knight? Is that us? <laughs> okay. I mean, is that because we sacrificed all those peasants? <laughs> I, I really don't know. Uh, maybe we're not the Dark Knight? I mean, does that mean we're Batman? <laughs> Alright, you're visited by an old man. Can you spare a few coins because you can't eat? Sure, I can spare uh, quite a few coins, in fact. Oh, I thought you were going to raise public opinion. Oh, I should have made it a trade. <laughs> I give you gold if you raise public opinion. Traveling Jester, best joke for me. Did you hear about the golem that was made just for friendly conversation? It was a social construct. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that joke was okay. And <laughs> nods and leaves. All right, get out of here. Hedge Knight returned from his quest. He broke into a slave camp at night and freed several mercenary soldiers who have since pledged their lives to us, Lona. Oh, we get soldiers and the knight? For free? Wow, these quests are amazing. All right, only three people left. Let's get it done and then we can start conquering. Wise man who says he has some advice to share. Aradal, the king, the kinslayer, is guarded by a small army of elite guards and rebel lords. That's very good. Tell me another. They say a king ends slavery of goblins is a wise one. The goblins are fans of blindly following those they perceive in certain lights. Oh, all right. Um, it's very good. You may go. You are visited by a traveling jester. Laugh hysterically with the handwritten joke. Sure. An elf and a man walk. <laughs> an elf and a man walk into a bar. The dwarf walks under it. Yes, I've heard this one before. That was a good joke. Oh wow, public opinion. Didn't know you could get public opinion from that, but okay. Traveling bard, vampiric loot. That was terrible. <laughs> Remove him from your court. <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything. All right. No one here. So, I wonder if we can visit our mine. Oops, did not want to end the turn. <laughs> Explore the realm. Oh, oh, west. There we go. <laughs> okay, Mumford Mine. 471. All right. Let's actually turn peasants into miners. Can add 29 of them. Alright, so they're now 500 of 500. Uh, is it worth prospecting? Probably. Oh, never mind. I guess that was a worthless endeavor. So let's actually end our turn. We will attack some bandits if there are any left. Uh, I guess the rebels probably. Oh, there's the bandit horde as well. Um. I guess the rebels, they are quite annoying. No, invasion. Intense cost troop assignment. Well, everyone but my peasants. Uh, sure. Two of them. Invasion is a wise tactic indeed. Thank you. Wow, well, our battle score is four times theirs. Should be an easy victory. Wow, 188 versus 23 losses for me. Pretty good. We gained a land, and we gained uh, about 14,000 gold this season. That's very good. Uh, oh, the rebels didn't get any soldiers either. This is very good. Very, very good indeed. Let's see. Lots of trade caravans. Do we have a note on our latest trade caravan here? 
Um, Eastern Trading Post. Wagon Man, 92 gold. All right. Worth it. <laughs> okay, let's actually see if we can go back into our throne room, maybe? No, let's explore the realm. And let's keep going south. That lava pit is... I don't know what that lava pit does. Oh. Ancient southern ruins. You approach some old ancient southern ruins. There isn't much left of what once stood here, and it looks nothing like every anything you've seen before, alright. Wait, that's it? Okay. Oh, I guess that's all I can explore. Well, let's us... How much money do we have? Almost 15,000. Is there anything we can do to upgrade our kingdom here? Military buildings... Oh, training grounds. Okay, it's actually not bad. Heavy defense palisade. Less likely to get raided by bandits. I think that's actually pretty good, although there aren't that many bandits left. <laughs> uh, recruitment signs, that's pretty cool. Militia recruitment signs. Militia council room? Oh, militia can disband. No, I didn't know that. Sure, let's build some training grounds. Oh, and you can upgrade to barracks. Okay, that's actually really cool. Okay, did that add anything to our um, kingdom here at all? Is it other buildings, maybe? Barracks? Oh, training ground, there we go. Oh, upgrade to a barracks. You enter the barracks. The building is used for arming and training troops ready for combat. The barracks is well stocked, but is not capable of facilitating certain types of training due to limitations on the structure. All right, so that's where the barracks comes in. Okay. Visit our prison. How many prisoners do I have? Six total prisoners. Order two prisoners to fight to the death? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so who is it? Huey the robber versus Aaron the swindler. Oh, Aaron is winning. Oh, Aaron wins. <laughs> really? That was it? Okay. I mean, it was kind of fun. All right, let's see. Let's attack the rebels again. No invasion, of course. Everyone but my peasants. Uh, no, I don't think it's needed. Oh, I should probably put a zero there. There we go. Crush them. Oh, we lost 46. Actually, quite a few, uh, quite a few men we lost, but it's fine. They lost 194. So it's all good. Oh, we made 18,000 goldish. Uh, how many are we losing to bandits, I wonder? Oh, our bandits are pillaging gold for us. So that's fine. Um, oh, monstrous sons march through your land unchallenged and call for your death? Public opinion lowers. Wow. Uh, have to do something about that. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, kill the stray demon? What? <laughs> Couldn't you have enlisted it in our army or something to fight for us? That sounds pretty cool. Uh, group disbanded. I don't see any... I don't see anything from bandits at all in here. I mean, I might be missing it, but that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I really don't see anything. <laughs> okay. Pretty cool. Alright, well that's going to do it for this episode of War Sim, the Realm of Aslona. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to leave a like, comment, as well as consider subscribing if you like this kind of content and you'd like to see more of it. We'll see you in the next episode.